Hello everyone, we'll be solving a question based upon time speed distance in this video. The question is an agent from the Israeli intelligence agency Mossad is chasing a terrorist. The agent takes 8 leaps for every 12 leaps of the terrorist and the agent covers as much distance in 4 leaps as 6 leaps of the terrorist. Will the agent be able to catch the terrorist? So we have an agent, we have a terrorist. We have been given that the agent takes 8 leaps for every 12 leaps of the terrorist. That means if the agent is taking 8 leaps in some time, in the same time the terrorist is taking 12 leaps. So let me assume that in 1 second if the agent is taking 8 leaps then the terrorist will be taking 12 leaps. This is what we have been given. After that the agent covers as much distance in 4 leaps as 6 leaps of the terrorist. So we can say that if the agent is taking 4 leaps like this, he is covering this much distance, the same distance is covered by the terrorist in 6 leaps. So let me draw 6 leaps over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is for the agent, this is for the terrorist. Now this will be the length of 1 leap of the agent, this will be the length of 1 leap of the terrorist. Since the distance is same, I can take the LCM of 4 and 6, it will be 12. So that means, let me give some unit to this, 12 meter. So in 4 leaps, the agent will cover 12 meter. In 6 leaps, the terrace would cover 12 meter. So if I find out the length of leap of this agent and terrorist, then for the agent, he is covering 12 meter in 4 jumps. So that means 1 jump or leap is of 3 meter. Similarly for the terrorist he is also covering 12 meter but in 6 leaps so 2 meter per leap. So we can say that the agent will take 8 leaps in 1 second. All those leaps will be of 3 meter. So total distance by agent in 1 second will be 8 into 3. Similarly for the terrorist all the leaps of terrorist are of 2 meter. So we can say that he will cover 12 leaves of 2 meter each. So this will be the total distance covered by terrorist in 1 second. So this is 24 meter per second because one leap is of 3 meter. This is meter. Similarly for the terrorist again it will be 24 meter per second. So now we have an interesting case over here. Both of them have the same speed. Now what to do in such a situation? We were asked that will the agent be able to catch the terrorist. Now we haven't been given if they are separated by some distance or they are starting at the same time. So one case could be if the agent and terrorist both are starting from the same point at same time. As soon as they start running, the agent will immediately catch the thief. So this is the case of immediate catching. Then the next case could be there was some particular distance between the agent and the thief. So agent will be here, thief will be here, they will be separated by some distance before they start running. Now both are running at 24 meter per second. So this much distance it will always be maintained between the agent and the terrorist because both are running at the same speed. So they will never be able that means the agent will never be able to catch the thief. Just because we were not told if they are starting simultaneously from the same point or they are separated by some distance we have two possible answers over here. Either the agent will immediately catch the terrorist or he will never be able to catch him. So we cannot determine. Hence the answer will be cannot be determined CBD. This will be the correct answer. I hope the explanation is clear. If there is any doubt please comment. Thank you.